strictly good or evil. No one is strictly that black is or evil. white. And Teabag is as bad as they come. He's not someone that you expect to sympathize with. But because of the cleverness of the writing, and because Robert Nepper, who plays Teabag, is such a brilliant actor, sometimes you find yourself caring about what happens to someone who, who is, is basically a despicable human being yeah. with no redeeming qualities. Yeah, that guy is scary. Be I, still, I love him. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's <laughs> sick. I mean. Yeah, we well, do bad guys very well. That's well, good. just now when we saw Michael with this tight tattoo on his body, and people are like, wow, that's the kind of reaction I always got when people you know, saw Michael with a tattoo on, right? Yeah, it was quite a set piece. When I saw that in the script, that suddenly my character was standing there with the full body tattoo and that the plans for the prison were hidden in the tattoo. I thought that was like nothing I'd ever seen in TV, like nothing I'd ever seen in the movies. And I thought, that's, that's eye-catching. People will, will remember that. Do you have any tattoos? No tattoos in my head. <laughs> Why not? Actually, working on the show cured me of any desire I might have to get a tattoo for myself. Really? It's a very... It was a very back-breaking process. The first two times I put it on, it was really cool. But um, then the next time, and the next time, and the next time, and the next time, um, once an episode for the first two seasons, uh, takes about four to five hours to apply the entire thing, and an hour and a half to scrub it off at night. Um, it's a fairly arduous process. Wow, every day, four hours, and then it was pretty cool. But still, it was pretty cool. It was cool. <laughs> You like show? Look at my tattoo. Did you show that to people? Uh, the first time I did, and then one day um, I had to wear it home. Usually, you put the tattoo on um, in the morning, shoot all the scenes that required the tattoo for that episode that day, and then scrub it off that night because it actually starts to disintegrate almost oh. immediately. But there were a couple of occasions I had to wear it home and um, go to sleep in it, and it's extremely uncomfortable. It's like wearing. Uh, fly paper. You tend really? to stick to the sheets. It's not. It's not pleasant. That looks sexy, though. Well, oh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, do you watch your own show? Uh, I did in the beginning. I did in the beginning, and then it became um, almost too intense for me. It's a. It's a very uh, dark show. Um, a lot of terrible, uh, difficult things happen to these characters, and um, I am a workaholic. I tend to obsess about work, I obsess about my character, so I, I had to start forcing myself to take breaks from Prison Break because it was starting to dominate every aspect of my life. So in the end I decided to um, distance myself from watching the show and maybe in three or four years I'll sit down with a DVD and kind of go through it one weekend, mm -hmm. but um, no, I haven't seen it in quite some time. Michael is kind of a dark character because he seldom 